formation, inspiration, motivation, conscientisation et surtout distraction. Gardez tout, votre peau pourri avec Flore. Votre Flore, tous les samedis, 6h, 7h. Gardez tout, la radio pour réfléchir. surgeon, Dr. Roman Joseph. This show is brought to you by Jeff Hess at Uniatlo. 305-255-2797. Ça, c'est avocat Pam. Jeff Hess, spécialisé dans l'accident machine. Ou glisser ou tomber dans la rue, dans la maquette, avocat bourré les couilles là, c'est Jeff Hess. 305 255 27 97. Jeff, tant bien habla espagnol. 305 55-2797. Allo avocat Zaz et Jeff. Ma fralerie les couilles là. 305-255-2797. Eh bien, c'est ça. C'est parti pour une nouvelle sortie de Radio TV avec Dr. Flor. Quel que soit côté ou Gardé et tendé, eh bien, Radio TV, c'est une production de Gardé Tétou. Nous fait radio à télévision pour inspirer. Radio à télévision pour motiver. Radio à télévision pour conscientiser. Et nous dire que la vie n'est pas toute sérieuse. Hein? Foco capable d'éteindre. Pour faire business avec nous, c'est 786 521 73 21. 786 521 73 21. Nous pas une pause, nous avons tout à l'heure. Si vous n'avez jamais fait greffe organe, vous n'avez jamais oublié le moment si là que vous avez recevoir un appel ça, qui peut être un en pile espoir. Miami Transplant Institute a connecté les gens qui ont besoin organe à les gens qui ont besoin de recevoir organe depuis passé 45 ans pour améliorer les chances de malades qui ont besoin de faire greffe organe. Pour plus d'informations, cherchez Global Transplant Leaders. RG. Yon langue cardiologue dans Sud Floride là, Dr Romualdo Segurora, joint l'hôpital Jackson côté li en tête nouveau équipe institut opération ke dans office l'hôpital Jackson qui l'oral. Des petites opération ke à gros greffe qui pour sauver la vie, l'hôpital Jackson offre soin complet dans affaire maladie ke. Pour plus d'informations, relé institut opération ke l'hôpital Jackson là dans 305 585 45 64 ou visitez Miami Heart. Leader.org. Good evening, ladies. Um, welcome on Radio TV with Dr. Flo. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How many of you I have online? I think I see two. Yes, Cordelia and... And who else? Lale. Lale, Lale, okay. Yeah. Then we are a trio uh, trial tonight. And um, welcome. People are listening to you around the world. Here in Miami, particularly, we are on 1450 AM, which is Radio TV with Dr. Flo. I did not say anything yet. I wanted um, to give you the honor, um, Cordelia, for you to do the introduction of um, the reason why uh, the three of us are 
connected this afternoon. Go ahead. Yes, thank you so much for this, Dr. Ford, to have us on your radio show and TV show tonight. We are co-authors in the book called America's Leading Ladies, and we are coming to Miami for our book launch at the end of February, beginning of March for Women's International Month. And uh, we're just really excited to, to share with you the all of the things that this book project represents and, and how we can uh, help the communities in Miami and around the world. Lali, welcome. Um, how do you feel about the project and um, coming here to Miami? Well, first, thank you so much for having us on your show. And two, I'm just delighted. I'm so excited about this book and watching the magic of women coming together truly with one purpose, and that is to show leadership is so different than what most of us think it is and how each of us applies it in our own personal lives, in our businesses, in our relationships, and really being that source of empowerment for others to know they can be leaders of their lives, they can be leaders at work. So I'm really excited about this book. Excellent. Um, I myself am a resident of Miami-Dade County, for those of you listening and watching. Then um, I concur with Cordelia and also Lale that um, we are all excited excited to really um, be example of connections, the, um, the power of virtual connections and um, coming here to Miami for that lunch will be our first face to face encounter and you're going to have the opportunity to witness it, to listen to our stories and see how you guys also can relate. Then um, Cordelia, lunch in Miami end of February, what should people expect? People should expect three days of three different types of events. Um, the first day, of course, is going to be the longest day for all of us to be together. And um, Atlantis University will uh, spend a full day together just hearing the stories of each of us uh, relating what we and then on Saturday, um, it'll be an evening event, more of an um, informal meet and greet. And then again on Sunday, we will be meeting um, in a somewhat more formal uh, brunch, Sunday brunch. Uh, but all together, it'll be uh, a great coming together of hearts. I like that. Um, Lale, for people listening to you and uh, use in your word leadership, then um, what what is it that you have in mind that you can start um, telling them, teasing them with for them to be motivated and be part of that launch? Well, you know what I love is that with leadership, <laughs> so many of us don't even realize we are leaders every day. The influence we have on others, the inspiration that we're being for others. And I just wonder what people can discover about themselves that they never even knew was part of them. And that ends up being one of the uniqueness of them that they get to share in a greater audience with others. And um, I don't know, I just, every time I talk about this, I see how much people light up. Hmm. Their whole worlds change, their faces change, and they leave with a different sense of confidence in themselves, but also feeling empowered to be that inspiration for others. I like that. Cordelia, and based on your experience, are you a speaker yourself? Um, who are you? Uh, thank you for that question. Yes, um, I myself am a speaker and an author. Um, I call myself the emotions opener. I help women as a transformation coach to use their emotions as a power source. And it... Uh, mirrors 
what Lale says about leadership because uh, when we don't shy away from our emotions but instead we embrace them and the power of them are we can be true to self and really show up and and change the world and um, you ladies, um, um, you have been changing the world your way. And um, give me one example, Lily, of how you think you are um, a change maker. Mm. Well, I'm right now in Rome. I get to travel every week to a new country and meet different people in the communities and inside businesses. And I've got to tell you, with the change and the transformation, it's sometimes the easiest things, like those aha moments that people have <laughs> mm. that ends up carrying through through their whole life. Um, one is you're not the title of your job and you are so much more than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. I think most of us associate ourselves based on our education and our experience and whatever's happening, whether we're a stay-at-home mom, whether we're an executive, and that's one of your gifts. And really get experience that you have so many more gifts that you really take for granted. Mm -hmm. And I think it really becomes one of those self-discoveries of not only people's capacities and abilities but their voice that they can share through the world even if it's through cooking or if it's through like you said being a speaker so and everything in between that you know ladies i am empowered by you as well and i'm humble that um, it's gonna be the beginning of a lifelong journey for us to keep that um, tradition and that's the vision um cordelia embraces that f we we gathered every March first for us to bring international women brunch and that event and uh, bring more women and um, it's it's just a drop a beginning of a big dream. Um, we we don't have closing remarks because um, um, we're gonna stay connected on still until we we see each other in February. But what will be your inspirational um, words before you guys go? Mm. Well, I, uh, I'd like to share um, my word this year is love. And um, just that is the love that connects us all to source, right? And for those of us who believe in God or identify with a religion, you know, just the absolute source of love, connect to that, embrace that, and radiate that out wherever you go. Lali? Hmm. I think for me, it, it definitely connects to that as well, because I think that's a big part of it. Um, but it's be you. Mm -hmm. Being you, the authentic you, and embracing it and being able to exponentialize it. And you don't have to duplicate anyone else, not your mom, not your sister, no one. Mm -hmm. But truly, the gift of you is the uniqueness of you. So I say it's all about us really discovering us. What I like is that um, we we connect so much with one another, but um, when I was interviewed by Cordelia, I come to realize that my philosophy is Gade Tetu. I kept it in Creole to keep it authentic. That way people um, questions, where is she from? Who is she? But Gade is nothing mm -hmm. else. Um, Lale stand for look. Tet is your head and you, it's you and you just